everyone, this is Colin Egan from Ironworks Consulting, coming to you from Usability Week 2010 here in San Francisco, California. We are at the Hotel Intercontinental Mark Hopkins, where we just wrapped up day two of six days, where we're learning about information architecture, uh, user experience design, and really the latest in trends around the web and technology. It's October 3rd, 2010, and San Francisco has been descended upon by information architects, developers, designers, and all those interested in creating great digital work. I think I'm most excited about all that we have all the people here, and it's a, it's a, it's a great week. Uh, my name is Trung Nguyen. i um, here because we are, uh, our company is developing a website for our patients for healthcare. This is my first time, and I'm really liking it. The conference is really well run. Um, I'm getting a lot of information that I need. Usability Week is put on by the Nielsen Norman Group and brings us to the Intercontinental Mark Hopkins Hotel in the famous Knob Hill neighborhood. Each day consists of seminars and various topics, which include statistics, user research, and activities to apply the latest practices and principles. Highlights this year include mobile user experience, emerging patterns for web design, and usability in social media. Late in the week, we'll have uh, several days about mobile usability, which I think is the kind of the emerging field. Uh, information architecture, which we're talking about today, I think we have a decent grasp on that. But as as Jen Cadella was saying, when people are trying to take these well-known principles to the new devices like the iPad or the iPhone or BlackBerry or whatever, they mess them up. And so we've done a lot of research on that and on how to make better better websites, for, better apps, also for mobile. So that's kind of the next frontier now. So some of the latest topics, what people are talking about this week, is technology that relates to the small screen. So uh, tablets, mobile technology, and really just asking what are the user experience guidelines, what does the information architecture look like for those devices. So we're going to be covering those and other topics uh, as we continue throughout this week here at Usability Week 2010.